Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Hitman. If you enjoy this video, please go down to your local zoo to the Pelican exhibit and openly worship the magnificent birds as if they were gods, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Welcome to Sapienza, a coastal town in Italy where the women are stunning, the water is blue, and where the young men grow moustaches so that they can look like their mothers. We are here today to assassinate Silvio Caruso, who resides in his exotic mansion, and his head scientist, Francesca DeSantis, who is designing a deadly virus for him. The virus's purpose is to be turned into the first ever STD of mass destruction. We bring with us a silenced pistol, a white duck that is actually a remote controlled explosive device, and some lethal pills. So we spawn in, sitting on a park bench opposite Caruso's mansion. Do you ever wonder what would happen if you scanned Agent 47's barcode? Well, I did a bit of research, and it no joke brings up an Amazon link for a drawstring double dong dildo bag in starry night blue 15 inches long 5 inches wide that's not even me making a joke several gaming news sites have confirmed this so there you go I always thought the barcode made agent 47 look like a badass but he's really just a killing machine that is also apparently designed to sell dildo bags I didn't even know that you needed a bag for them but anyway we can't get into the mansion as it is heavily guarded so let's explore the town I make my way towards the beach and there's a street performer entertaining some locals. Naturally, I walk straight up to his hat and take all of the coins the crowd have been tipping him. Sorry mate, but people have stopped buying my dildo bags lately, meaning I don't get my 10% commission and I need to pay my rent tomorrow. I stroll down to the sand and see people tanning. This is a real trigger for Agent 47 as he is so white he can't physically tan, so it brings up suppressed emotions. This tanned woman in a sarong arrogantly struts over to me and so I do the only reasonable thing I can think of. I pull out my pistol and shoot her in her strikingly bronzed head. You can't tan when you're dead, woman. Well, I mean, maybe you could for a while, but after like two or three days, your corpse would start rotting and then who's the pasty one, huh? But no, obviously this is a stealth mission. I can't just shoot up an Italian beach, so I proceed to restart. So we need to get into that mansion. I notice there's an apartment block next door, so I head over to check it out. I try to get into one of the rooms and it turns out it's actually one of my agency's safe houses and I even have the key for it in my pocket. Like, goddamn, I really need to start at least skim reading these mission briefings. This should not have been a surprise to me. I navigate the rooftops and break into a neighboring apartment. The place is absolutely trashed. There's cigarettes and Mountain Dew everywhere. There's even a high powered gaming computer which I'm sure has been solely used to play League of Legends and watch cam girls until the sun comes up. There's a kitchen's assistant disguise on his bed and so I put it on. I then realize he has just been smoking on the balcony this entire time. Either he actually hasn't noticed me or he looked in and saw a bald jacked assassin who is also doubling as a living dildo bag advertisement getting changed in his room and was just like F that, I can't deal with that today, I'm just going to keep smoking. That's basically the Italian problem solving flowchart after all. Anyway, these rooftops offer me an easy way into the mansion grounds. I drop down and am immediately spotted and recognized by a staff member. Excellent spatial awareness skills by a professional assassin. With no other option, I just run around the corner and jump into an unwanted baby disposal center. I mean dumpster. Once she gives up on finding me, I enter back into the grounds. It seems this cook's assistant disguise is fooling people, so I decide to have a look around. This place has great views of the town and ocean, and even a spectacular infinity pool. I mean, I know Silvio Caruso is currently building a mega STD weapon of mass destruction or whatever, but you have to respect the man's taste. I go inside the mansion and see one of the cleaners, and of course, she is an Asian woman. I don't know whether to compliment the developers for their immersive realism or to put my 2000 and woke hat on and call them out for blatant stereotypical racism. I go and talk to the butler and he tells me to go and help in the kitchen but doesn't even so much as look in my direction. The lack of eye contact kind of reminds me of when I lost my virginity except this conversation lasted about twice as long and he's not my ex-girlfriend who would later break up with me because I allegedly prioritized video games over our relationship. In my 
my defense though, back in the day, I could quickscope fools like a mother Anyway, I managed to find the kitchen. I tell the head chef that I'm the new apprentice here to help and he tells me to finish Caruso's pasta sauce for his dinner. I don't want to tell you how to run your kitchen champ, but Caruso is like a multi-billionaire terrorist and you are clearly aware this is my very first day. It seems a bit risky and frankly unprofessional giving me so much responsibility. Whatever though, it works well for me. I proceed to add the lethal pills and also a little bit of salt. I've now officially cooked more in Hitman than I have in real life this month. The chef then tells me to ring the dinner bell and so I give her a good old belt. Caruso then struts out with his bodyguards. You see that pink sweater hung around his neck like that? It's a telltale sign that him and his friends played Soggy Sayo like two or three times a week when they were in school. Anyway, the chef brings out his food and Caruso chows down, but unfortunately, he passed away. Get it? Passed away? Because he's eating pasta? Damn, I said I'd work on my one-liners when I killed targets, and now I'm just making carbohydrate-related food puns. This is surely the quality content you are subscribed for. Let's keep moving forward though. It's time to destroy the virus. So we know there's a science lab under the mansion, so I suppose we should just find some stairs or a ladder or some kind of ramp. Any structure that angles downwards will do just fine. I find a door around the back of the mansion. Now I'm not a gambling man, but I'd say the lab is most likely behind there. Unfortunately though, I lack the keycard required to unlock the door. There's a bridge that looks promising, but several guards block the way and the kitchen staff aren't allowed to go out there. I go inside the mansion itself and find yet another suspicious looking door, but not only does it have a keycard lock, it also has two highly armed guards. You know when you're out talking to a girl at a bar or whatever, and she has an annoying friend that's like, oh my god, yes queen, Beyonce is on, Let's dance. But then she proceeds to just throw up all over the floor and ruins the night, which also cock blocks you because they have to go home. Well, I feel like this key card security system is that girl. So we need to approach this situation a little bit differently. I head back down to the beach to see if I can access the underground lab from there. And the street performer is still going strong. I run over to him to try and take his cash again, but no one else has tipped him. This guy is seriously screwing me over financially. I was really counting on robbing him again. What a dick. There's some underground walkways down here, and so I explore the area and find a part of the wall that looks vulnerable. It's a bit of a long shot, but I drop my explosive duck next to it. It's really dark, but it looks as if I might have destroyed the wall. Obviously, I have to chill for a minute, as I did just let a bomb off in a public place, which is frowned upon. But after a bit, I head back down, and sure enough, I have cleared a path. I go inside, and this is a top secret science lab, all right? In fact, just like the female Asian cleaner, it is literally a stereotypical evil villain cave lair thing. They really nailed it, but again, it's kind of racist towards caves. Like why isn't the evil lair in a green lush forest or on a tropical island? Wake up sheeple, everyone's a filthy racist if you try hard enough. So yeah, I knock a scientist out and take his lab coat. I need to get into the actual lab room though, but of course there's a bloody keycard lock stopping me, so I guess I'll need to find a key card. I decide that I will try and knock out a few guards and scientists until I find one. I set off a forklift alarm and lure a guard around the corner. I wait for him to disable the alarm and then throw a brick at his head. I then take his outfit and dump the body into this container. The container is full of some sort of green acid and when I drop him in there is a sort of sizzling sound, almost like burning flesh or something. Anyway, I'm sure he'll be fine. If it's not broken, why fix it? I do the exact same thing with another guard and then dump his body into the acid as well. I then lure a scientist around the corner and give him a little quick scope with my fist to the chin and then again put him in the acid. Three people dead but still no keycard. I kind of feel like a little bit of a dick for murdering three people for no reason but I'm working on not being so hard on myself in the workplace. Like as long as I learn from this there's no such thing as a mistake. I then effortlessly walk into the security office and find the key 
key card I need on a table. I probably should have had a better look around before I started dissolving people in acid, but again, it's all a big learning experience. I get back into my scientist disguise and head back into the lab. I then get into a hazmat suit and venture further in and locate the virus that I need to destroy. Unfortunately, there is two scientists standing close by, so I can't use the controls to overheat and destroy the virus. There's a rat science experiment going on, and so I poison them, which distracts one of the scientists for a moment. I then find this other device, which reminds me of one of those claw prize games. I use my advanced chemistry knowledge to grab the red chemical and put it with the other red chemical because red equals danger. Now, I don't expect you to call me a science genius or anything, but it would be really appreciated if you called me Dr. Pelican going forward. With everyone distracted, I overheat the virus sample, which destroys it and yeet on out of there. It's now time to kill Francesca DeSantis, the last living person who knows how to recreate the virus. I have a look on the map and realize that she's actually hanging out in the mansion. So I head back out the tunnel I made via the exploding duck, just casually wearing the hazmat suit. Nothing suspicious going on here, fellas, carry on. I notice a potential shortcut back up to the main house, and as I now have all the key cards, I make my way up. It leads me to the staff quarters. Perfect, I'll steal this maid's outfit. Unfortunately for him, he picks the wrong time to turn around and sees my face before I manage to knock him out. I guess they did hit their political correctness quota after all, including a male maid. Unfortunately, I have to put a bullet in his head because we can't have witnesses. I find myself in the cellar of the house and then all of a sudden, Francesca emerges with her two guards following closely behind. I follow them to the top level of the mansion, but it seems half the people here know I'm not actually a maid. I use the balcony to traverse around more freely and then spot Francesca in her office doing science stuff. I can't even go into the room as her two butt buddies are always right there next to her. So I decide to use the drain pipe to climb up to another level. Fun fact, this place is actually based on a real town and they remade it incredibly accurately. I head into the attic. There's two guards speaking and also this chimney chute for the fireplace below that has the option to dump a propane flask in it and there's conveniently a propane flask right next to the chute. Good to know. I eavesdrop on the guards talking and they say the combination to the safe they are standing next to is in Francesca's office. Really bad at your job there guys, it's called discretion. But anyway, I traverse the rooftops again and sure enough they were right and I grab the code. I head back to the attic and the guards have now left probably to go and have a loud public conversation about all the possible ways someone could disable the security systems for the mansion. Anyway, in the safe, Silvio, the pink sweater guy I made choke on my meatballs earlier, was holding DNA samples for Francesco to blackmail her if she ever betrayed him. I get a little clue from the description that says, no doubt she would like to know about this. The problem is her two private bodyguards are well aware that I'm not a maid, so I'll need a new disguise. I wait for a guard to isolate himself on the balcony and then choke him out. Sorry Rocco, but looks like you won't be making it home to smoke cigarettes and fight with your wife and wear tailored suits and eat kittens and do other Italian things. Not even sure if his name is actually Rocco, but let's be real. It was either Rocco or Vinny. With my new disguise, I go and talk to Francesca and tell her that if she scans the back of my head, she can have 10% off drawstring double dong dildo bags in Starry Night Blue 15 inches long, 5 inches wide. Nah, just kidding. I tell her about the DNA and she is bamboozled and she says she needs to burn the evidence. I head back up to the attic to where the propane flask is and drop one down the chimney. Sorry Francesca, but it looks like herpes isn't the only thing burning you tonight. That was a better taunt, but I obviously have no idea if she had herpes or not, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Still, I feel like I am moving in the right direction and more importantly, both targets are now dead and we proceed to leave Sapienza as the hero the world needs, but not the hero the world deserves to need, but rather a hero in need of some dessert. Thanks for watching, you absolute bloody legends, and a massive shout out to my patrons for their ongoing support of the channel. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.